noticed uh, some signage. I noticed this on the highway too, on Interstate 87, that some of the signage is in English. Et en français. Je suppose pour les Québécois qui voyagent au New York, au randonnée. Or whatever else they might want to do. We are coming just about to the end of the trail here. On the left, here's that uh, boardwalk that goes. I think it just kind of, you can get a little view of the swamp, the wetlands there. Okay, we're back at the trail register and I guess staff donation center. Uh, looks like all three of these. I think they were all three here this morning and I liked the one I have better, so. But I will donate this one now. Future hikers coming through. Uh, what's the meaning of this? Why did somebody leave that? It's empty, all right? Hmm. So, the uh, trail log, this is a lot different from what I've seen on the trails in Pennsylvania where it's just a, like a notebook and you can just put whatever you want in it. Well, I've had a shower and had a chance to relax a little bit, have a little something to eat, and um, sitting here getting the fire going, and for the very first time, somebody walked past my campsite. So this site that I'm at is, it's campsite number one at Sharp Bridge, and it's the most isolated one. It's down here, uh, just across from the Shroon River, which is just down, you know, across the road and down the bank there and then the rest of the campground is up the hill here there's a uh, path that goes up to uh, to the restrooms and the shower house <clears throat> and by the way the uh, the restrooms and showers are well maintained and very nice so uh, but anyway the uh, absolutely nobody has driven down this road or walked down it until just a few minutes ago. A guy came from that direction and he uh, had a backpack on. So I said, uh, were you hiking that trail? And he said, yeah. Turned out he's from Massachusetts and usually hikes in New Hampshire. Um, but he decided to come here for the first time ever just to try something new and, and see something new. So he did the exact same thing I did. He reserved a spot here, he's here by himself and he's doing some hiking in the area and come from out of state, so pretty cool. Said that tomorrow he's gonna do Giant Mountain. Now, I, uh, when I was out today at, uh, up on uh, Rooster Comb Mountain, I met a couple who looked to be around my age uh, from Pennsylvania. They also had a lovely little dog with them and they said that they had hiked up Giant Mountain and that it was it was really cool, but it was a pretty tough hike. Um, as for the Massachusetts guy here, I, he said he only hiked about halfway out and then uh, you know, decided to turn around. So I told him, well, the second half of the trail is better. <laughs> but I clued him into where he could park to access the other end and 
you know, maybe check it out while he's in the area.